Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. So, bad a debate I've been having since the event started. Do I want to spend the $350 for the champion and the dragon? Uh, it's a tough choice. Uh, let me go over all my thoughts with it. Might help some of you who are having the same debate. And $350 is like a decent amount to spend in the anniversary event where it's going to be the best $350 you'll spend if you do because you're going to get a champion and a dragon and then other buffs. Some of it's going to come down to how lucky you get in getting the dragon and then you can buy better packs because the dragon pack's only good to get the dragon. There's an Aptoid code at the top of the screen. It's only good until server 00 tomorrow at the reset. So whenever you watch this, that'll be less than 24 hours. And then there won't be any for the rest of the event. So if you want any pink gems, anything like that for next weekend for red subs, you could load up and get some. Anyways, uh, the dragon. Yeah, so you're going to have to buy this pack. Uh, or you could buy the smaller pack. But uh, realistically, you're going to buy... You might have to buy up to three of this. That seems to be about the average. People are getting it for about three packs with triples. Some people are saying they got it. Oh, I got it on my seventh spin. Like, okay, yeah, but that's really unlucky. But if you do get lucky enough to get it early, that really increases the value that you spend. And here's why. Because if you look at this pack, really, this is what you want, right? You want the things to spin and then you look down and there's other good stuff like Blood of Ares is good in here and so are treasure boxes. But it doesn't have the new rally spot tactics, the military tactics. And that is what you want. Uh, so if you do get lucky and spin and get it, then you can get in this one and you can start to get the military treaty and the military tactic chest. And that's realistically what you want. You also have Meteoric Stones, anything else that's not in the other pack, Stamina. This is the better pack, but you don't get the Dragon. So now let's look at the Dragon. Um, how good is the Dragon? That's uh, pretty much what you want to know, right? So uh, its value is on a sub. So its entire value is here. All this other stuff here, these attributes, not really going to make a difference. Entire value of this is going to be here. So what are you really looking at? You're looking at enemy siege HP. This is the thing that you want, minus 30%. And then the other ones. But one thing to keep in mind here is max skill. That's level 20 minus 30%. So realistically, how long is it going to take you to get to level 10? And once you get past level 15, like these things take a lot, like 200 million dragon points. So it's going to take a long time. So let's realistically just pretend at level 10, you're going to get, or level 12, something like that. You're going to get 20% siege HP debuff. That's really what you're going to get there. And then if you look at the other stuff here, enemy ground and mounted defense. And you're not going to get to level 100 because... I have no dragons at level 100 on these first two. None. And then here, Siege Defense, 37. So realistically, you're probably going to get that one up to like 20%. So let's basically pretend this dragon is getting you 20% Siege HP and Siege Defense debuff. And then, you know, you'll also get some other debuffs. But those are the two important ones that most people are going to be buying it for. So now what you have to do is go look at your spiritual beasts and see what's that going to replace on your sub? What are you going to take off? So for me, I'd probably take this one off. Pegasus, enemy ground troop HP. I'd probably remove that from my subs because the other stuff does more important stuff like range attack, mounted HP, siege HP. This one is enemy range defense. So you get my point. Siege defense. There's other important stuff that it could take off. Replace. Because you're going to lose that debuff to add a different one, right? But if you're a larger player, the siege stuff is really important. Now, if we go into the king's party at cake five, and this is where you're going to have to get to, to get champion Mar Marcia. Or is it Marcia? Let me know in the comments. And let's go over and see her. And she's nice, eh? Yeah. Kind of looks like she's wearing uh, Sharjah's, Shazar's clothes. And here, you can look at what she'll give you. So she's going to give you range and siege HP. And then training speed, who cares? And then attacking, 
Or when you're attacking. So not when you're defending. Enemy mounted troop attack. Okay. I, I, I always find that that one's not that important. Because uh, I'm either just going to destroy the horse when I'm attacking or I'm not. If I'm doing archers. And here, defending ground and mount defense and HP. And goes up to 150%. But let's be realistic now. That's at the level 20, right? And you're just not going to get there for a long, long time or ever. So, do you get all this stuff as a champion? Yeah, but it does replace your other champions, right? Like, you're putting your points towards that. And now that they've increased them to level 20, there's a lot more options out there. So, like, if I just go over here to Helen, the first lady champion, I guess any champion, but I was going to say something like the lady of the keep or something, but I couldn't think of a funny joke quick enough. Anyways, uh, here, so I'll get in-city troop attack as my next one, 10%. So I'd be giving up that sort of stuff by putting resources into Marsha. And like this one is level 20. And the next one I'd get would be in city ground attack. It would go up 20 more percent, but it's a lot, right? Like this is, I'd have to put 6.4 million points where if I get Marsha and I go all the way over here, I'm going to get a lot of those buffs just by going up like 400,000 and then 700,000. So she's absolutely going to help you and give you some stuff. So there's no doubt that getting both her and the dragon for $350 does help. So I'm personally, is a, I'm really torn on this. I know that these are good value purchases, but I don't like how Ebony's been treating us as a community and now my ultimate thought on this is it worth spending 350 dollars to get the champion and the dragon comes down to how lucky do you feel on that wheel because if you are lucky and you do well you're gonna get the 200 military treaties and you can actually use your triples on it so 600 and then if we go over into here this is where you're really going to have to... Actually, I want to see one more thing. How many twigs and jades? So 120, so that'd be 360. And 72, that would get you uh, 216. So if you go in here and you just look up drill and how much to increase, 200. So you could basically get... Um, and this one is 100 to go from level 1 to 2. So I think it's 350 to go from level 0 to level 3. So you could realistically uh, go up quite a few levels in that. So yeah, kind of worth it. And especially this one. This is the best one. that uh, I like the Siege one. But this one just has uh, very, very strong archer levels. Like if you look here, if you look at the breakthrough, I'm at just to get to breakthrough 2. Our in-range rally attack goes from 30 to 46%. And then if you get to level 3, you start to really add up on those range attacks. 9, 13, 20. There's massive buffs in. You guys are having the exact same debate. I feel like Ebony should not have increased the dragon and champion levels this event. If they did not increase those, I absolutely would have spent and bought it. But now that those are increased, it's like... Yeah, you gave me new stuff, but I also have other stuff I cannot complete. So it takes away my incentive to get the new stuff. The only thing is that that dragon is different buffs, right? And the, the siege ones in particular. And the, and the champion will give some easy siege buffs in city as well. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Should I get it? Are you getting it? And uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment.